pacemakers have been used for decades to prevent the heart from beating too slowly. But Robin Gordon reports doctors at Riverside Methodist Hospital are using a brand new kind of pacemaker to help patients with congestive heart failure. Two years ago, Leo Boston was diagnosed with congestive heart failure. I was wheezing, fluid retention, uh, getting out of breath, climbing up the stairs. The problem, the ejection fraction, or pumping power, of Leo's heart was only 10 to 15 percent, compared to the 60 percent or better of a healthy heart. Recently, here at Riverside, Leo received a pacemaker that improves not just the rhythm, but the function of his heart. Unlike traditional pacemakers, which govern the atrium and the ventricle on the right side only, the new device stimulates the left ventricle as well effectively synchronizing the two pumping chambers of the heart. But advancing the third electronic lead, even with X-ray guidance, requires a tremendous amount of knowledge and skill. The flexible wire catheter must be directed through the right atrium and into a tiny opening that leads to the coronary sinus, which winds behind the heart and then branches out and wraps around the left ventricle. This third lead is a little bit uh, trickier to put in, and we have to put in a, uh, a system where we can actually inject some dye and take pictures of this uh, special vein, this coronary sinus, find out uh, where the branches are going because they vary significantly from patient to patient, and then direct our lead wire over into one of those tiny branches to get it to function correctly. Dr. Nichols believes that continued advances in technology will reduce the time and difficulty involved in placing the third lead and will allow more patients to experience the benefits this procedure can provide. There's an improvement in the patient's perceived quality of life. There's an improvement in their exercise tolerance and uh, a decrease in um, uh, readmissions for congestive heart failure and an improvement in uh, the function of the heart. Leo Boston says the function of his heart has doubled since his cardiac resynchronization therapy. Oh, I think it's, it's really helped me out. I really do. And uh, hopefully it's going to keep me going for a while. The FDA has just approved a new biventricular pacemaker that doubles as a defibrillator, which means it can also slow down a dangerously fast heartbeat and act as a safety valve in helping to prevent sudden cardiac death.